The figure below shows a polygon A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, consisting of rectangles and right triangles. When cut out and folded along the dotted lines, the polygon forms a triangular prism. Suppose that A, H equals E, F equals eight and G, H equals 14. What is the volume of the prism? Okay, so um, what we have is we have the net of a triangular prism that is, th those are the key two words. And what that means is that it is going to be a prism with triangular bases. And what that means is, let, allow me to draw a picture of what it might look like. It might look something like this, where you have a triangle at the top, at the top of the um, prism, triangle at the bottom of the prism, and it's, sides are rectangles look something like this so what that means is that you have this you have this net of a triangular prism and to me immediately what you can see is that these two triangles bjg and cif are the bases and the other three rectangles a b j h b c f g and i d e f are the sides of the um, triangular prism. And what does that mean? It means if we're going to try to find the volume of the prism, um, the vo well, the volume of any prism is base times height, right? Um, so <clears throat> you just need to find the area of the space and multiply it by the height of this prism and you have your volume. Okay. so. Um, our bases are BGJ and CIF, um, and we're given a few side lengths. AH is eight, EF is eight, and GH is 14. Um, and you see that um, since ABJH is a rectangle, BJ is eight. And since EFID is a rectangle, ID is eight. But how is that going to help us find our um, our base or our height for that matter? Well, what you realize, what you have to realize is that if CIF is the base at the bottom, so if CIF is the base at the bottom, then um, this rectangle IDEF is going to be correspond exactly to this rectangle over here. Right, um, it's got a side IF and it's a face of this prism. But what does that mean? It means that ID or EF is gonna be eight, um, which is really nice because we have the height of our prism. Our, the height is eight. Um, so that was something that was really helpful. Um, but how do we use that to find the um, the area of our base? Because we don't um, well we have we have BJ but we don't have JG so we can't find the area of this right triangle which is going to be half BJ times JG. Well, we can realize that hey, guess what? Um, if BJG is the other base, um, so this would be B, this would be G, and this would be J. If that's the other base, then guess what? Um, BJHA is actually going to be this face. So um, H will coincide, coincide with I when you fold it together. And A would match up exactly with C when you fold it together. Um, um, so because some of the vertices would come together. And anyway, you'll see that IJ and BC are also both heights. Um, so BA would be eight and JH would be eight because those are the heights. And what does that mean? It means that since HG was 14 and HJ is eight, GJ must be six. And that's really, really, really nice because we finally have a way to figure out the area of the base of our prism, which is a right triangle with side length, with leg length eight and six. And the area of this right triangle is half times eight times six, which is 24. Finally, you have the area, the volume of this prism, should I say, is the base, which is 24 times the height, which is eight, which yields a final answer of 192. So our answer is C. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.